With this video, we are going to be talking about some assistance work and what that means and what it is. So the idea with assistance work is it has a few different reasons why we put this in and a few different things of what it can be. To be more specific is the goal. So potentially you're doing pull-ups and trying to get stronger, not for the sake of just getting stronger with a pull-up, but for a functional reason. You might be wanting to do uh, some swinging on the bars, so what we call lachets in parkour. You want to be stronger with, with that, so you're putting in strength work. Therefore, some assistance work you can do is some swinging on the bars, getting used to swinging around on the bar. That will also assist with the pulling. Also, the assistance work is there for developing a wider range of other muscle groups that is going to help you do the pull-up. So, for instance, if you were going to do some other types of uh, pulling, that is going to help you assist, whether it's in a different range of motion or whether it's using different groups. It might be using your traps more or it might be pulling in a different plane of motion it's still going to help with the strength work when you come to doing your pull-ups. So the other thing you can use assistance work for is, by, is to add more stress upon the system, onto your body. So the training session might be that you're going to do your strength work first and you're going to try to do your five sets of five or three sets of five or whatever you're going to do. But following that, you are then going to do some more assistance work for pulling and that way the combined amount of stress from all the exercises is the amount that you're going to use for getting stronger and by checking it and understanding how much stress there is you can up the amount that you do each training session and simply the other last one for assistance work is for variation and essentially not becoming monotonous in your training so just doing pull-ups and if, if that's your strength goal and just doing that type of training it can get boring so adding in other assistance work that is different and fun that is going to help alleviate the boredom of doing the pull-ups which means that you can do it more for longer so I've, as i've said a few of the different things that you can do for your assistance work is swinging on the bars so just getting used to hanging on bars monkey bars in parks you can use um, or scaff if you've got access to it swinging around and getting used to lachets and different movement techniques on hanging on the bar that is really going to hold you in good stead for the pulling because you're going to be used to hanging on and holding your body weight so that dead hang position you're going to be super happy with and it means that you got your shoulder and your body and your entire body is going to be moving around in lots of different ranges of motion and accumulatively this is really going to help so another assistance exercise is climb ups this is a little bit more of a strength based thing as well and if you don't know what it is the idea is a climb up allows you to get up on top of a wall or a block. We have specific techniques for it and we're not going to go into it in this series. There will be another series on climb ups. But for now, if you know what it is and you know how to do it, climb ups is also a great way of assisting your normal training, strength training. Adding on to the assistance work, we can also throw in there normal climbing, bouldering, buildering, any type of climbing work that you do, that is really going to help with grip work, forearm work, leg work, whole body stuff. This is again going to very, very much benefit you on your upper body pulling. So three more types that we're going to add in here that can be good for assistance work. Number one is rope climbs. If you've got access to a rope, big thick rope, climbing up the rope again is good for the pulling action koala climbs which is similar to a rope climb but instead of using a rope you're actually using a bar or a pole and the idea is that you are going to be climbing up the bar in a specific position moving up and down lastly if you have access to a gym or a strongman gym you can use sleds and sled pulling or roped sled pulling any way where you're pulling on weight and doing the full range of motion lap pulls 
This again is going to be great for assistance work. Now, the one note I will put in here at the end is the fact that assistance work should not replace any of the programmed training of strength work, okay? So it is to supplement in ranges of motion and different muscle groups, but you don't want to change the strength training program if you want to just focus on getting stronger. So the assistance work can be a great way of adding in a little bit more training to add to the stress of your body on those training days. Don't forget to rest though. Don't forget that it's not about how you train, it is about how you rest as well. The rest part is the essential section for you to get stronger. If you're not resting, your body will not be able to get stronger and the fatigue will start seeping in and over a course of weeks, maybe months, you will start to get that fatigue mounting up on each other and eventually you'll burn out. You really need to rest, but during your training sessions, you can do your strength training and you could do some assistance work if you want to.